Hey do yourselfers, I'm Tyler Gianni, and today I'm going to show you how you can totally transform a brick fireplace with our new whitewash brick transformation kit. So go ahead and get a kit and get ready to paint along with me. The kit includes one pint of Gianni brick transformations whitewash paint, a mixing container, three wiping rags, a drop cloth, painter's tape, a paintbrush, a stir stick, and instructions. Additional household items needed are a bucket, a bristle brush, liquid dishwashing soap, water, and a vacuum. Let's get started. This fireplace gets used pretty heavily, so there's a lot of ash and coals on its hearth. Because of that, I'm going to start by vacuuming up any debris. If you don't have any debris on your hearth like I do, you can go ahead and skip this step and go right to cleaning. The next step is very important, as it will ensure better adhesion of your paint. Using dish soap and warm water, take a hard bristled brush and clean your fireplace thoroughly. After cleaning, take a damp cloth and wipe up any soap residue from the bricks. Make sure it's completely dry and then take the vacuum again to it if needed. Tape off your mantle, walls, and fireplace insert as well as any other areas that you do not want paint. We recommend applying two to three rows of tape for full protection. Protect the floor by covering it with the included drop cloth. Now it's time to mix the paint. Start by stirring the brick transformations paint with the included stir stick. Then pour 8 ounces of paint into the provided mixing container. Next pour 8 ounces of water on top of the paint to create a 1 to 1 ratio of paint and water. Remember that it's important that you pour the paint in first and then add the water for proper mixture. Next, use the provided stir stick and mix the paint and water together until the mixture is consistent throughout. The 1 to 1 ratio of paint and water will create a soupy mixture that makes for easy wiping. This will allow some of the original brick colors to come through. If you're looking for fuller coverage, only add 4 ounces of water to create a 2 to 1 ratio of paint to water. Now it's time to paint. With your paintbrush in hand, dip your brush into the paint mixture and start by covering just a few bricks at a time. We find it best to start small so that you can get the desired look before moving on to a larger area. Then take your rag and wipe the bricks as though you are wiping away the paint. Wipe until you're happy with the look. Keep in mind that the wiping step will allow some of the bricks original colors to come through. As the paint dries, the natural colors of the brick will start to show through your application. When you're applying paint to horizontal surfaces, you may want to use less paint to prevent the paint from seeping into the brick at a faster rate. Continue this process of painting and wiping over the entire fireplace. Remove the painter's tape once your paint has dried to the touch. When your project is finished, send us your before and after pictures because they will inspire others. Send any pictures to info at giannigranite.com. To clean your brick transformation surface, we recommend only using mild dish soap and water. Using harsh or abrasive household cleaners will affect the durability of your finish. While you may use your fireplace one to two hours after application, just be extra careful during the first 14 days as it is still curing. So this is the finished look. We were able to accomplish this project in just a few hours. And as you can see here, we used our farmhouse chalkworthy antiquing paint as an accent. I'm Tyler Gianni, and as always, thanks for watching.